Hey there Titans! Welcome to Form Titan Basics. In this video I will explain about the record ID mode in the Salesforce push. So what we want to do here is get an account by its account ID, load up the account information. So we have a get here that is mapped to our account uh, fields. And after that we want to update our uh, we want to update our account. So we have a submit button. Let's just um, set the push. So we're going to add the object and we're going to say account and we'll use it in a custom button and our action will be update and you can see we have the record ID mode here. So let's set it without it first. So we're going to say the account ID equals and again you can use this only when you, you act, your condition is on the ID of the object, so the account ID equals our account ID, so it doesn't matter which object you're working with as long as you refer your condition refers to its ID. So in this instance we want to update the account by its ID, so account ID equals to our hidden ACC ID, and let's map just, uh, let's do um, the account type I think I have on there, so that will go to the type um, let's set it to our account type value and scratch that. Let's bring, let's map the billing address. Let's just do the name. I don't know what else I have on there. So let's just do the account name. That's the only thing we're updating. And maybe we'll do another field. Let's see what we have here. So this is the address and let's see where we're bringing it in from so let's see the mapped field so this is the billing address so let's update some of the billing address information so i'll head back to my push and mapping the billing at billing street to the street and city to city and that's about enough. So I didn't check the record ID option yet in the push. Let's publish this. One thing we forgot to set up. So let's change our button to uh, Salesforce section button. So our type will be Salesforce section. And what we want to do is update the account and we'll apply this and we'll click update and save and refresh our form and what I'm going to do I'm going to open the inspect window uh, the update is way down let's pick it up a little bit and refresh our form again there we have it and now we're going to take a look at the network so let's just get rid of everything here and let's load an account. So our FLDs, FLD31 equals, let's get an account, say Big Donkey, and pass in the ID. And now the information will be loaded. So let's get rid of this and let's see how long the push takes. Let's just update some of the information. I think we're updating just the name and uh, and the, the street and the city. So let's update. And that took 450 milliseconds. This is a very small update. So um, I don't know if we'll be able to see the um, a big difference here, but let's just do Let's just try and see what we can get. So in the action update, again, it could be with a find and delete as well, whatever you have conditions on. So we'll apply this and finish, save our form and refresh. Again, this, this push is very, very simple. When you have heavier pushes, this will save you a lot of time. So I'm going to refresh my form. And let's say add 
some link to the city and hit update and you could see it took half the time 264 milliseconds instead of 450 milliseconds um, not half the time but significantly less and this is how it's done